and I tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they lookin' shy. No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what it do and what it is. It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano. I want to thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV. We back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack. Just, Just like that. Me. And I hope it feel good to you, too, because it damn sure feel good to me. I got my sexy, ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl, Jazzy K. In the building. Ew. What you, what you drinking on today? I see you going gangster again with no ice. No, let me tell you <coughs> something. Quit, quit putting me on blast, bro. The ice is melted. We already had this conversation. I'm going to have to bring the opal up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I was thinking about that the other day, yeah. but I didn't want to. Yeah, we're going to have to bring the opal up here because what you got going on. Those melt too, them little bitty. But not if you fill it up, though. Listen. Yeah, they do. It, look, look. It's still in there. Barely. <laughs> it's still in there. How you been? You I'm looking great. good? You got, look you good got your too. merch on? Yeah, you know. Got your super tight <laughs> merch on? Looking good. Shining. It's nice and That's crazy. That's tight white. Nice and crispy, crispy white. for you boys. They're gonna be and ready girls. for they're gonna be ready for that in uh, about a month or so. Mm -hmm. Not that long. No, about a month. Not that long. A few weeks. Say for all y'all, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Super Tight TV. I yeah. need y'all to make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Please hit that bell for notifications. We're gonna get back with y'all every day. Is how we do it. But and today, please keep what? letting us know what y'all think in the comments. Oh, we yeah. love that. <laughs> she loves those I comments. I love it. She loves the comments. <laughs> today love is it. a special day. I got a family member in there, mm -hmm. and it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. Been a minute. It's been a minute. A lot of people have been in this man's life. I know he's running like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to figure out what's going on with the new world and everything that's changed. Yeah. But man, ugh, this is one of my guys that I have stood ten toes down for, and I have always. Shot at his praises. You have. <laughs> because when I know, I know talent and I know someone that's supposed to be somewhere and anything I can do to help, you got to get there. Supposed to be. Hey, score for man. life. Twisted Black is in the house. Hey. hey. Yeah. Man, they going crazy for you. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I see. Oh. Have a seat. Have a seat. How you been, brother? I'm great. You're, You're looking, looking good? good. Yeah, well, you know, I'm tired. I've been working. This is a good thing, you mm -hmm. know, but. Yeah. yeah. Life Skin is, all clear. Well, you know. Yeah. You know okay. You know, it's face scrub, Some you know. Oh, okay. You know. That's how it go. Do tell. Do tell. It's, water's different out here. But Man. You, you know what we always have to say to, to, to people who are back out? Welcome home, brother. Man, thank Welcome you. Welcome home. Yeah, I never get tired of hearing that. I yeah, bro. It, really. Welcome, Welcome home. home. <laughs> because I know you was all over the place. Yeah. But it, it, you did some time in Texas. I did. You was fed time, though, right? Yeah. But that state time is modern day slavery. Been there. Done that. It, am, I, am I lying? It's tough. They getting free labor out of them guys. 100%. I had a guy call me the other day, Tally. Mm. He was like, man, we was, man, it's, we send out, we was talking about the food shortage and how much everything costs. Right. He said, man, we send out 250 pigs a week at every prison. We send out so many heads of cattle a week. We could feed everybody in Texas for free man. just by what's going on in the prison systems. But they don't want that. Nah. They want to put a price tag on it. They'll feed you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> for real. But they got to house you. Mm. Oh, three hots in the cot, huh? Oh, yeah, you get that. Fuck that. Now, it's down to two now, I heard, in the state. What? Really? Yeah, you get like a brunch, and then you get a dinner or something. Some, you know, I don't know the math on it, but yeah. Oh, man. It's tough. So if you ain't got no commissary. <clears throat> commissary, like the, uh, the brother PMC said, is very mm. necessary. Oh, yeah. Y'all help those brothers out, Yeah, please. if you got somebody in jail, man, it ain't that they calling just trying to get in your pocket. They need it. Mm. Yeah, they need that. Yeah, That's sad, bro. Yeah, heck yeah. So, we want to do this interview a little bit different. My wife normally, she's going to start it off. Okay. But everybody knows that you're from Fort Worth. Okay. But we're going to go deep because you you were a transplant. Okay. And we want to go a little deep, deep, deep into that, and then we'll go into your career. Okay. All right. What's up, baby? 
Do it. Okay. First of all, you forgot something. First of all, <clears throat> first of I don't all. know. Um, Twisted Black thought we was gonna do a radio interview, y'all. Definitely did. Because uh, when, I didn't have my glamour together. <laughs> you know, right? oh, I've you, been in the studio looking, all day. You looking, you looking nice glamorous and crispy now? Where'd you get that, that shirt? Where'd you get that, that shirt? You know, nice. one of my my old people. You know, I got yes. I got friends in high places. Mm, you know? We gonna take Super care of you. Nice. Friends in high Super places nice. and two faces. Mm-hmm. And on what side you looking? Hey, hey. flip the coin. Yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, but um. You notice that you're at the Texas table. Mm-hmm. This, 100%. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, back in the day when we used to watch the Apollo um, Amateur Night time. at the Apollo. Okay. You remember when they came out on, on the side of that stage and they rubbed that piece of wood? Yes, sir. That blue tonight. star yeah. right there is our Apollo stump. That's uh, our Texas yeah. stump. Man. That, that's for positive energy. Okay. That's for you to take some for you and your life and your career. Yeah. And for you to leave some with us for, uh, for our platform in our lives okay make sure i yeah rub that again put yeah, extra yeah, yeah, put that. Extra. if you want to feel like rubbing it throughout the interview yeah. we ain't gonna be mad at you <laughs> a little bit of that on the top yeah, yeah. We'll have it's some, real some legends real when we start you know what i mean yeah. now we got another one we got another yeah. one you got another one hey baby go ahead Hit okay us. so yeah <laughs> it's a little aggressive up My in bad, here baby, go ahead. okay mr Sweetie. twisted black so most people know you from Dallas, but where you well nope. Fort Worth, Fort yes. Worth. Were you born and raised here? I was born in Detroit. Hey, yeah. Detroit. So what age did you transplant? At over two here? years old. Two. Yeah, we ventured to Texas. Oh. So, so when, you from Texas? I mean, I had I, look, I get I get lost in Detroit. Okay, but I can't get lost in Texas. I but but when you go to to Detroit, you still have family members. Oh there. yeah, my whole family up there. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's like half and half now. You know, I got cousins and aunties up there. Then I got cousins and aunties down here. We gotta so, ask what high school you went to. Eastern Hill, Southwest, OD Wide, okay. uh, Dunbar, uh, oh. Dunbar uh, uh, Summer School, oh, Metro. Oh, uh, oh, um, uh, what's you don't know about Metro. Oh, yeah, um. yeah. Then I got kicked out of all of them. So yeah. Metro was the party. Yeah. What I you bet. doing up there? Fighting? Of course. <laughs> That's that 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 was the trade back then. Say That's this. what we did. I'm yeah. telling because you know when, when they we, don't fight no more. But neither do I. Okay, hey, me either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't got no time for it. I was gonna tell you about how I uh I need to tell you a story when we get off the air about <laughs> how I was I put my asshole on the back burner. How mm. two days ago? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> got him. They got me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they fucking got me good. <laughs> so, being from Detroit and being that your family members are still in Detroit, did you feel like you got a little of that Detroit swag as well as some of the Texas swag? Of course. I, I call it, you know, my own little thing, like bi-coastal. Okay. Ah. Right. Okay. Because my father... We're still in Detroit, so I I would go there every summer. He died when I was eleven, so I go I keep going up there. Then you know my family up there, so summertime I roll up there or whatever. We just go already because our family up there. So I took a little bit of both already, and, I, and, and it, as you can tell with my music, I incorporate you know like I still got a little bit of an accent, but yes. at the same time I adopt my Texas accent too. So yes. yes, a lot of people do. they can't really they're like where are you from. Mm-hmm. Shit, I'm Fort Worth. Oh, really? you know, I, I mean, you know, I was born in Detroit, but I'm from Fort Worth. So for the for the fans out there, no, excuse me, excuse me, y'all, my, my bad. For the family members out there, okay. For the family members <clears throat> out there, get it right. When you were coming up in Fort Worth as a youth, let's say in your teen years, okay, draw a picture of what Fort Worth was to you. In the, my teen years, man, for just to be honest, for what was everything because it was just fun. Yeah, you know, we we come up dancing, fighting. Yes, you know, I mean, but it wasn't. You know, you had killings here and there, but mm-hmm. it, that wasn't what it was predicated on. You yeah. know, we mm-hmm. didn't go out to kill nobody. We want to dress and be fresh, and you know, yeah, go have our little dance routines, skating. You know, hey. but it was just fun. You know, for what was. Was everything, you know. Detroit was kind of a little more rough around the edges, you yep. know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah. So. You ever notice on these interviews, <clears throat> when people ask that question or something similar to that question, people get to talk about how hard it is. And they, man, it was rough where I came from. It was a lot of kids. But, bro, what about the fun you had? Everybody right. don't say that, baby. What a, it's not bro, everybody. A We've people. had a lot of people come in and talk about how good it was in but their the hood fun. before it went hood. Right. We used to play football and, I mean, 
hide and seek as a kid. I'm talking about it, everything as a kid Kids was not bad. Kids don't go outside bad. no more. It's that's a true. lot has changed. That's true. Really. Well, it, 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 it well, just from his is, point of view, it is more rough. Well, I see what you're saying. Was. He says she got a point. Valid. These mm-hmm. kids come up and it's 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 a lot. To me, it's just more rough than it was when we were coming up. Exactly. It because is. now it's all about dying. They yeah, got bad part. understanding too. Yeah, soon, that's it. I mean, that's the thing, and it, it doesn't seem like it's worth worse. You would think, oh, these kids have everything, but they got a different mentality. They do. Yeah. So somewhere along the line, there is a musical background in your in your in your past, right? Yeah. Who was it in your family that was it? Someone in the family, or just the culture that y'all were that you were brought up around? Well, of course, the culture. But my I had my first cousin Jerome was like. He was Prince before Prince. He was super talented. And okay. I had another cousin, Davina. You know, she taught me to play piano and the, and the bass, man. And I would mimic them. And she would take me to the studio as I slept on the floor. Oh, wow. So I grew up around music and just loving music. That, you know, I fell in love with music. Is that here in Texas <clears throat> or is that in Michigan? That was in Michigan. That was in Flint. Yeah, Silver Sun Studio. I come up mm-hmm. under Bernard Terry and all okay. of them. Yes. Okay. Shout out Flint. Shout out yeah. Flint. That's my big Flint. I have an older sister mm-hmm. who moved from uh, my dad's from Tyler. Okay. And so she moved from East Texas and raised her whole family in Flint. Mm-hmm. But they're they're back here now. They live in the Arlington area. But yeah, Flint is in my blood too. I would say. Right. I got family up there. So um, when did you decide to say, you know what? I want to kind of put pen in the paper and become a rapper. When did, what, what influenced you to do that? And how old were you? I think what, what probably influenced me was um, I was writing poetry. So, and, and so I would, my mother was my biggest fan. I'm only child. So I let her hear it. She's like, oh, that's good. You know, and, that, and at the time, the song, Your Mama. Dun, 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 oh, dun, uh, dun. Was that Baba G? I can't remember. But, so, you know, that was the the beginning of it. So I started trying that. Yes. You know, that was just the start. But to answer your question correctly, in, in 95, I put out my first project. Already? Yeah. One of my partners, Heavy, believed in me and we pushed. Well, you have to be serious a little bit before 95. Cause yeah, but it was to just. To put out your first project, you was working on it. Yeah, well, you know that that was that's the, always been the easy part for me, you really? know, and that's not me capping. It, it, as far as constructing music, yeah, man, mm-hmm. I, I hear, it. I see it like somebody else, like a painter would see, you know, he see, see the finished product of his, you know, his his, his uh, canvas. Yes, that's how I do it. So when, once I hear the music and hear the beat, yeah. It, I mm-hmm. feel it. It, t- I it tells me what to do. I don't I have to sit up and have to pin it. it, it it'll like. tell me what to write. A true artist <clears throat> is like that. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that a couple times. Yeah, some people have exactly. to force it. Yeah, some people that that with it being like that, do you feel that have you ever had writer's block? No, that's what I'm saying. I've never the person that I know, we know that that was like that. He he ain't never had no writer's block either. Who that DLC? No, yeah. you know Chad. Oh, man, listen, I got man. That's another. That's a whole nother interview. Yes, he hmm. gave me some of the most vicious game that in this industry than anybody ever did. That's the reason why before we came on this interview, that's crazy yes. you said that, when you was like, I'm going to get you to rap. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> because when they hear me, it's going to be right. It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo, from the front seat, not no photos.